Hello everyone. As I provide these reports about the news stories surrounding the war in Ukraine, I do my best to use diverse sources as long as they are reputable and verified and get you to think and ask questions rather than attempting to impose my own opinion. Sometimes the news just comes together in a certain way to provide a rebuff to my attackers without my having to do anything. Let me show you what I mean. Let's start with the comments that got me thinking along this particular line. The big story today is the leak of Pentagon and NATO documents pertaining to their plans in Ukraine. The major concern is that not only were the documents leaked, but some of the documents that were leaked were knowingly altered. And the alterations were very interesting, very telling. Uh, they were um, showing exaggerated numbers of casualties in Ukraine and reduced numbers of casualties for Russian troops. Now, if Ukraine were a lost cause, why would um, Russian spies, which I have no doubt that this is who did this, be attempting to, to do something like this? Why would they try to alter the information about the war if they knew that it's already been won? A big disappointment. You know, I had hopes for uh, Brazil's Lula when he got elected, and I'm glad it wasn't the other guy because he was a freaking maniac. However, this is very disappointing. So he basically says, surrender Crimea, and maybe you'll get to keep the rest. And my answer to Lula and the commenter who says, basically, that's what we should do, let Russia keep the invaded territories, is this. This is official. This is from Russia. I've been telling you this for over a year now. They're not going to stop. You give him an inch, they will take a yard. You give them a yard, they will take a mile. It's not going to end with Ukraine. You cannot set the precedent for an invading country to keep invaded territories. Period. 